hello everyone and welcome back to the channel uh, in this video i will explain how we can create automated collections in shopify previously we used to create collections automated collections based on product tags but shopify has released a new option which is meta fields and we can create uh, automated collections using meta fields so let's dive into it i have a collection nuts where I am creating uh, this collection based on product tags where the product has a tag equal to nuts or chocolate nuts we can add this product to this collection if we choose all collections all conditions uh, it will change something and that would be that all these tags must be present in a particular product at the same time so that it can be added to added to this collection let's see and you see only three products are now available so uh, please uh, make sure that uh, you understand this thing so let's do any condition so any product which has tag nuts and any product which has a tag chocolate nuts can be added to uh, this collection that was the traditional way we used to create uh, collections automated collections on shopify now let's get back to uh, meta fields sorry so in meta fields, the condition we say is that you will see this drop down and in meta fields, it will show all the meta fields we have created so far. And so far I've only, only created one. It will show us that that's, and it will say all products which have this meta field and the value equal to sugar nuts, because this is what I created over there. And once we save this, we will see that this collection has this one particular product over here. Now, why is this one over here? Let's open this product to find out. Once we go into that particular product, you see that in the meta fields, I created a meta field uh, value based on the nuts definition, which is sugar nuts. So it will pick up any product which will have this uh, meta field now let's say we go into this particular product and in the nuts we also say sugar nuts and we also say let's say salted right let's do a salted one let's save this once we do that you will see that in this collection sugar nuts we we have one more product now how to create a new meta field so you need to go to settings click on meta fields if you want to understand this thing click on products and let's say we want to create a new collection uh, let's say we want to say taste meta field and it will be a single line it can be a list of values and please make sure you check this automated collection so that we can use this meta field in order to create an automated collection let's save this and now in the collections we can create a new collection and uh, let's name it um, taste wise or tasty right something like this and it will be an automated tag and the automation would be based on the meta field of the product taste is equal to salty right if we want to add a new like we want multiple so we will do it like this taste is also equal to uh salt something like this and we can also combine it with different meta feeds such as nuts contains uh, nuts now again the, the same rule applies over here if we select all conditions then these all meta field must be present in a product for this product to be selected over uh, in this uh, particular collection but if we do any then all products which have either one of these will be added to this collection so uh, that is the way we can create automated collections using product meta fields uh, salty so we do not have any salty i guess i said salted not sure but we can check if this doesn't work yeah 
so it doesn't work so what i would do is i will go into the products and let's say this salted one it has salted right that's all interesting let's go back to collections tasty is equal to salted hmm interesting why is the reason this is not working let's go back to the product let's go to salted let's see if we remove this oh sorry basically we added this in uh, nuts not in taste so the taste must be equal to salted right uh, once we save this and boom now it should show us this in the tasty nuts as you can see the product count is now one so uh, just make sure that you don't make the mistakes which i did and uh, this collection is now visible and we can add it into our navigation and make it work now the same process we can do it with the help of variant meta fields currently i don't think i have any product which has variants but you will create variant meta fields and then simply create uh, a collection based on that meta field value and it would work the same way it works for products so that is it for this video let me know if you found it useful and if you need any help just uh, reach out to me and i'll be more than happy to help you with you guys thank you so much